Hammond could join a growing list of cities scaling back its recycling programs. Good evening, I'm Brad Edwards. And I'm Erica Sargent. The mayor says he's looking into whether the program is still worth the money. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is live in Hammond. And Tim, not everyone's on board with this plant. Erica and Brad, if you drive through Hammond alleys, you will find plenty of overflowing blue bins like this one. The city has a recycling deal with Republic Services. Now the mayor says that partnership might not last. All right, we have newspapers. Ariel Dorton isn't one, one to waste. Posted. That's been pretty well rinsed out. She's a Hammond resident and avid recycler who wants to keep recycling. It's worth it because it's helping to keep all of this stuff out of the landfill, out of the oceans. Helping, but Hammond Mayor Tom McDermott says it might not help enough. I, I also want to clean the oceans. I also want to save the planet, of course, but it's not working right now because the whole market changed. McDermott is referring to a 2018 decision from China to stop buying much of America's recyclables. They'll now only accept items with almost no contamination, meaning greasy pizza boxes or ketchup bottles that aren't clean might not make the cut. Republic tells CBS2 they used to sell about 30% of their recyclables to China, and now that number is lower than 1%. A Republic general manager says China's decision has also forced Republic to be more stringent and send more items to the landfill. We're spending a million dollars a year. It might spend in the money just to make the people feel good mm -hmm. so that you feel like you're saving the earth, but you're really not saving the earth. Mayor McDermott says he's planning a visit to the Republic facility where Hammond's recycling winds up. He says he'd like to figure out how much of it is actually being recycled and decide his next move from there. It makes you wonder if this million dollars could be used a better way. Public says nationally about 30% of what they pick up on recycling routes turns out to not actually be recyclable. Uh, they say part of that is because members of the public are still confused about what to recycle or how. The company has launched a website called RecyclingSimplified.com to try to educate people on, best, on the best methods. In Hammond, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News.